Hey everyone, so today I'm going to be showing you my best of 2013 um, products that I have enjoyed throughout the entire year, that I've used a lot of the year, and there's not a, I don't know, there's kind of a lot that I have scattered around, so I'll try to get through it quick. First that I'll start off with will be face and, not body, I guess face and skincare. So the first thing, hands down, like absolutely hands down, has to be my Clarisonic. Now I have two heads that I interchange in between, the sensitive and the, um, oh gosh, it has the blue ring around the middle. I think that's for like deep cleaning and for your pores and it's, it's really great. <laughs> So I love both of them. If I'm just if I really feel like my skin is dirty and it really needs to be cleaned out, I will use the blue one. For everyday use, I'll just use the sensitive one, let it go. It has made a tremendous difference in my skin, in the texture, in um, the appearance of how like my makeup goes on. When I don't have makeup on, my skin just looks clearer and it just looks better. So hands down, has to be this. Now, what I wash my face with, I think which has also helped, is the Clarins. It is the Gentle Flowing Cleanser. I think this is my second or third. It's fantastic. You don't need a lot. It foams up nicely. It removes the rest of my makeup that it hasn't come off. Um, it's for normal to combination skin, so it doesn't leave me dry. Fantastic. For a, um, I can't even think, I haven't done a video in so long, sorry. What is this? It's the Amore Pacific Treatment Enzyme Peel. It's an exfoliator. Fantastic. First, the scent. Oh, it's heaven. Go to Sephora, get a sample of it, try it out. You'll need a little bit in your hand. Make a paste, put it on. It it's not grainy or beady like you would think, like an apricot scrub. Ugh. An apricot scrub would be. It's very gentle. It really will flake off all the dead skin. Perfect. If I have a lot of makeup on and excuse me, soap and water is not just gonna wash it off. I try to always use the Pond's Cold Cream Cleanser. This is also a go-to thing that I've used forever. It's like my third thing since I've rediscovered it. So that's a cold cream cleanser. You just put it on. All the makeup will just like melt off. Eye makeup especially. Fantastic. Okay. For, oh, I do have a hair item that I wanted to bring out. I've gotten really into Lush this year. I, I love it. I love the bath bombs and bubble bars, stuff like that. I haven't really tried any like the jellies or I don't know, but what I absolutely love are their shampoo bars. This first one, it's very skinny now. This is Jumpin' Juniper and it has lavender. It's very nourishing like to my hair. It gets a lot of the oil, excess oil out. They're so easy to use also. You get your hair wet, get this wet, rub it in your hair, and it just like magically makes suds. It's awesome. This next one looks like this. This one is the Godiva, and this one is amazing. It's like citrus and, I don't know, but it has some type of herb in there because, I don't know if they're herbs, but I don't know what's in it, but it flakes out. And sometimes it gets in my hair, which I don't like, the Jumpin' Juniper had a long sprig of lavender that I was able to pull out. These ones I haven't been able to pull out yet. But the Godiva one is for conditioning and I don't know, it's, I love how it makes my hair feel and it's just great. So I tried a conditioner bar, didn't like it. Next thing from Lush would have to be a body melt or a body, body bar, I don't know. And this one's in the scent Heavenilly, Heavenilla, it's just a vanilla scent. It's fantastic. Okay, 
more on to like skincare, <coughs> excuse me, if my skin is super, super dry, I have been using the Pond's Dry Skin, which is, I've had to use a lot since of the weather change, but this is a go-to item also. If my arms, like my hands are really, really rough, I have fallen in love with coconut oil. Now, this is just plain coconut oil that I took from the kitchen and I spooned it into a small little container. And this will be if I need to moisturize my lips or for a while I was having irritation underneath my eyes. Um, a few months ago actually. And this really helped moisturize and like fix that. It's fantastic. And for like the winter. But then I've also made a... It's a coconut oil sugar scrub. So it's just coconut oil, smells good, and sugar, just mix it all together and it makes a hard paste and you can really scrub your arms, your elbows, your legs, anything in your body. It's fantastic. All right, my favorite thing that I have really switched up this year would be, along with my skincare, is really taking care of my skin more. I'm 28, scary to say that, and I've just noticed like my skin really needs to be taken care of. So I have switched to the Estee Lauder um, skincare line. This is the Advanced Time Zone Night Cream. Fantastic, fantastic. The eye cream that I am in love with. This is the Advanced Night Pair Night Repair Eye, and I've used so so much of this. It's a full size. It's quite expensive, but I have really, really noticed a difference with that. And then also the other thing would be the Synchronized Recovery Complex Serum. This is just a sample size, but I have two of them. It's amazing also. But what has even made it more amazing, I've only had this for, it was an early Christmas present. So I think I've been using it for about two weeks, is the Clarisonic Opal. I went to Nordstrom, long story short, went to Nordstrom, grabbed some makeup, and the gal, she uses on me, and I'm like, that's nice. But I didn't want to buy it because it's expensive, and I don't know. But it's actually totally worth it, I think, I don't even know how much it is, I think it's like 180 I don't know. But it's this little thing, and you put your eye cream on there, or your serum, you turn it on, it vibrates for 30 seconds, it is, it's, it's awesome. It really penetrates the, um, serums and eye cream really deep down into your skin. It makes it more beneficial, I think. And I have really noticed a difference in only two weeks. So, hands down, perfect. Last thing for skin care, I'm looking around would be the MAC Lightful. This is the Marine Bright Formula Essence Serum. For under eyes, When I before I put on any makeup, I do a lot just right here and then going up just like where I need lots of moisture. And I will use it with the Clarisonic Opal in the evening with like these and then Clarisonic Opal with this in the morning before I do my makeup and it really just soaks into your skin. Okay. I feel like I've been talking a lot. Oh, one thing for your face have been these little eyebrow shaper razors. The fa My favorite one that I found so far is a set like this. You get two light pink and two darker pink like this. I believe it's called Salon Professional Salon Effects. I don't know. It's from, you can find it at Walmart or Target or like CVS, Walgreens, anything like that. And they're just like brow razors. Fantastic. I showed them to my sister. I said, here, have my second set. And she's like, this is great. And it really is. It just, it really cleans up your eyebrows nicely. All the little peach fuzz that you can't ever get. I have blonde hair. It's really annoying. I can't always see all of it. Amazing. And I think it was like $4 and you got four of them. Okay. Moving on quickly. Um, I think I'll go into makeup. I'm just looking around. I'm going to go into makeup. I have switched up my foundation routine and it's now the Estee Lauder Double Wear. I used to use the Maybelline Superstay. It wasn't working for my skin anymore. It 
was oxidizing my skin. It seriously just made a change this entire year. 2013, my skin was like changing. I don't know why. So this is fantastic. I have it in the color sand. It stays on all day. It doesn't smudge, doesn't budge, doesn't change color. I don't know. I absolutely love it. The My favorite powder has to be the MAC Skin Finish Natural in Light Plus. Perfect found, or perfect powder combination. After that would have to be, this is pretty new too, but I could never find a concealer that I liked forever. This one I think I finally have found a concealer that actually works for me and stays in place and doesn't crack and I don't know. This is the MAC um, Studio Finish Concealer in NW20. It's perfect. I've always paired up with the Bare Minerals Concealer in Well Rested with a large, large fluffy blush brush and I just apply that and it makes me look more awake and it doesn't settle into my lines because let's face it, we're all getting older. Um. This was a find this year. It's the Translucent Crystal Light Reflecting Setting Powder by NARS. This is amazing. It, after all your makeup's on, um, I set everything with this, just push it on. Um, I put it on first before I put on my blush because if I put this over, it has kind of like a little white cast. Not a lot, not like the HD powder by Makeup Forever. That really makes you like white or gray. This one is, it is more translucent, but I like to put on my blush after. The number one blush that I've used this entire year and ever since I've gotten it is Tarte Exposed. I finally hit pan, I never thought I would. It's amazing, it's great for all skin tone, all colors, all makeup looks, any of the Tarte blushes, but that's my hands down favorite of 2013. <sighs> okay, eyeshadow. Everyone knows that I love Urban Decay. It's my absolute favorite. Some people don't like it. I do. I love the color payoff. I love the texture. I love everything about it. So mine would have to be the Naked Palettes 1 and 2. That's practically all I used all year. Now it's Naked 3 also, so I have all three of them. It's fantastic. Naked Basics. The other palette that I've used a ton over and over and over again would be the Lorac Pro palette. The colors are just amazing and perfect. They just, they work for everyday use. It's great. This shadow, I was looking at it at Ulta. It's by the drugstore side. So Essence and it's called Party All Night. I can't believe how much I've used of this and I only bought it a few months ago, four months ago, and I've already hit pan on it. It used to come domed. It is the perfect taupe, excuse me, shimmer, everyday color. Um, most of the days, like when I'm getting ready for work, if I don't have time, I throw that on, a little dark brown eyeshadow on the crease, liner, done. So, go pick it up. I think it was $1.99. Awesome color. Best eyeliner of 2013 has to be the Jordana Fabuliner. Um, you can only get it at the drugstore like um, Rite Aid, Walgreens, like that. I've never found it anywhere else. It's a felt tip liner. It's fantastic. I can't even tell you how many I've gone through of these because I love to have a slight wing liner. Now I've done it for a whole year. It's what I do. Brows is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Duo. I have it in the color medium ash, medium brown. It's what I use on my brows every single day. And then I think the last thing would have to be, oh, I was going to bring out hair stuff, but I hate doing my hair now. My hair is super long. It's annoying. It's, 
what it is. Mine would have to be a sock bun. Yes. I take I have a video, I take a sock, cut the toe off, roll it into a donut, put my hair in a big ponytail, and do this, and I have to have a sock bun. It's my go-to every single day hair. I'll either flip it up with a poof in the front or a braid like I have today. So that's it. And then last would be perfume. Now I am it's the only perfume that I usually wear. I have others, but I barely wear them. I am, I got them up here so I don't break them. It's the Juicy Couture perfume of any of them. My favorite would have to be Viva La Juicy. Couture Couture, which I don't know if they make anymore, actually. And then this one is Couture La La. I also have Lala La Fleur or Couture La Fleur, I don't know, and a smaller one. I love the original. I just, it's the only thing I will wear. It's Juicy Couture, hands down, is the best perfume for me. I think that's everything. If I forgot anything, oh, oh, I did. Best new brush. This is the Eco Tools Body and Sculpting Powder Brush. Fantastic. I recommend everybody go get it. It's $11. It's great for foundation and for blush and powder and highlight anything. I use it for everything. It is amazing. It cut my foundation routine down seriously like in I can do my foundation in like 3 minutes. It is it's amazing. So, I think that's everything. I hope you guys had a great 2013. I know I did. I'm excited for 2014. We'll see what it has to offer. And hopefully I'll get better. It is my resolution this year to actually make more videos and get back into it. I've taken, I think, like eight months off. And I'd like to make actual videos, not just quick one takes with my phone. I would like to start making more videos. So that's what I'm going to focus on this year. And I hope you guys will stick with me. And if you have any questions, let me know. I'll list everything down below. I will talk to you all soon. Bye.